Hello everyone, 90 days sock challenge for beginner, a completely free challenge for beginners is live on Discord now. I see hundreds of students, learners are completing their task every day. It's amazing to see such response. Many of you ask, ask me about uh, my paid ultimate security program and course. And uh, here it is. The course can help you to kickstart or excel your career in cybersecurity space with some more advanced and enterprise tools like Splunk, ELK, OS Query, Velociraptor, Qualys, and many more. Now, already hundreds of students have been enrolled for this course and were able to land a job as well. Many of them were able to land the job as well. For very, very limited period of time, I'm offering a 50% discount only for those who can complete the first challenge that covers five tasks of um, 90 days sock challenge, which you can, of course, find in the Discord channel. And um, you can share the uh, share me the snapshot of all the tasks and uh, you can send us an email at hi at the rate hacksecurity.com. We'll review it and we'll then share you a 50% discount coupon. Okay. For more detail, you can check out the description section below. Let's begin with our task two of 90 days sock challenge for beginners. All right, so we are on our task two. As you can see, this is our Discord server. Of course, I'll be sharing you the link of this Discord server. You can see hundreds of learners and students have already completed the task two and shared the uh, snapshot of the output. Uh, let me talk about the objective first. The goal is to identify failed and successful logins on your windows machine windows server or windows machine anything and uh, I, the goal is to identify failed and successful login from windows event viewer okay or maybe powershell both okay so we'll be using the command line and gui both together okay so now um before we do that it's very important to understand different events in especially the security events in windows for this, I'll I'll suggest you to re refer this uh, website where you will find the Windows security events in detail. Okay, there are when it comes to Windows machine for every type of security event, there is a specific code to it. There's specific event ID, I would say. So we have one one zero zero. That's a specific event ID. Okay. Similarly, if you search for um, log in or log on option so you will find specific event id for example you have 4624 which is quite popular um yeah so 4624 is account was logged uh, was successfully logged in 4625 means the account failed to log in and these are the two events that we are looking for okay you can find the detail about this event as well as you go on into the specific event ID. Okay, you can refresh the page and let's come here. Let's start our task now. Okay, the first thing first, make sure you have, uh, you know, you have Windows machine and everything. PowerShell is enabled. In order to simulate this attack, the idea is very simple. You can, you can first log in your machine with the correct password as it is written here. This will generate 4624 as the event ID, which says, um, you know, which says that successfully logged in. And second, you can, um, you can enter a wrong password and this will generate a failed login event 4625, okay? So let me show you this. Uh, you can see this is my machine. Uh, what I can do is I can log out from this machine and try to re-log uh, re in. Or maybe if you are on your Windows uh, laptop or desktop, you can just try to sign out and just try to log in. First, try to log in with your correct credential. And second, try to log in with your incorrect credential. Enter any random credentials, okay? Once it is done, then come back here. Go to Event Viewer. And then go to Windows Logs, Security. Under this, you will find audit related logs, security specific logs. And then in here, you can filter the events based on 4624. 
okay 462 when you enter 46 when you enter 4624 you will see all the events with 4624 and you can see when when you expand this you'll find okay this was a successful logged in successful log on and uh, all the detail about the user id and everything similarly you can also find failed login attempt as well on the machine which is very important from security point of view usually uh, we analyze all these logs on our sim solutions like splunk microsoft sentinel solutions uh, qradar exabeam all those but currently we are doing it native on our machine itself so you can see 4625 i'm i have uh, tried entering some incorrect credentials so you can see the account failed to log in and log in a uh, log on sorry and this is the account name and it says the failure reason is unknown username and password okay if you have multiple such attempt this can fall under the brute force attack as well so that's how we can do it manually with using event viewer the gui based system but you can also find out by using a powershell command okay so you can use a command which is not too short it's actually quite bigger so i'll you can see this is the command to check the successful login this is the entire command which starts with get windows events and filter out by security category with id 4624 and what all objects do you require to see the output so this basically format the output and also help you to filter out the data okay so i said only the time and message so i'll copy this paste it here sorry paste it here enter this will show me all the successful logged in okay perfect now this is all me this is all 4624 event id events okay next in order to check the failed login attempt you can copy this command this command paste it here sorry paste it here enter now these are all the failed login attempt perfect now this is how you can see the failed login and successful login on a machine uh, on PowerShell and even on the event fever. Now take a snapshot and share in the task two of challenge one. Make sure when you share the output, you also mention what was, what is your observation and what did you learn from this task? First, write about your observation. Second, write about what did you learn from this task? You can also make sure you share some of your feedback. If you have any feedback, you can reach out to the feedback channel on the top. All right. See you in the next task.